Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to fix these headphones. The only way they actually work is when you push in right here. So the disconnection actually occurred here. Ooh, I should clean my fingernails. Mmm. Uh. Tasty. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, so, oh, now I got the dirt in that fingernail. Oh, this is, I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've got Cinnamon Swirl Girl here. Hi. Oh. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello and goodbye. All right, uh, my, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix some headphones for you guys today. Um, I've got my friend Cinnamon Swirl Girl here to help out. Come on, Cinnamon Swirl Girl. Hello. Oh hi, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good. I don't know why I just changed my voice like that. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, fix these headphones. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right, put your hands in, in the mid center. Uh, Whoa, uh, Bundy! Uh, the disconnection actually occurs right here. Um, so it's like, you gotta just press it in the whole time. And that's not fun listening to music that way. So um, we're gonna go ahead and attempt. Okay, so these are some really cool Sennheiser headphones. Like high quality, over the ear. High quality, as you see, it's all peeling apart. But these are just, <laughs> these are just like abused, basically. But they've still held up the test of time. And they sound really good. And you know, they're 15 to $20. Can't really be beat over the ear headphones. Okay, but this cord, it's so flimsy. Let's see, I don't know how long this cord is. I asked Cinnamon Swirl Girl, I said, Hey Cinnamon Swirl Girl, uh, what color cord would you like for the new headphones? Oh, I would like, uh, let's see, pink, Liz. Liz. Pink? Yes, Liz. Okay, are you okay with the pink? Yay. Okay, one, two, three, whoa, bingy. Okay, so, so she elected to have pink, I can get this to focus, pink instead of uh, black, because I've got a, a very similar pair of headphones and uh, the cords are black, so you wouldn't be able to tell. Uh, but you could also paint and do stickers or something like that, but that gets ridiculous. Actually, that's a great idea. No, okay, so we want to replace the whole cord because if we were going to actually just fix the connection here, uh, we'd actually have to probably cut into all this and this has been plastic molded and everything and, and then we'd just be dealing with a mess and we'd have a big old glob of what? Uh, epoxy or, or hot glue or something like that. It's going to come disconnect. This, however, this is already encased in molded plastic, so that works. So the only thing we need to do is cut off the other end and somehow get it inside the speaker, solder it to where the connection is on the speaker, and then just make sure as it exits this plastic casing that, that we've got a nice, solid, clean connection as it comes out. And so whether we use uh, heat shrink tubing or glue or something else, um, what else could we use? We could use sandwich bread. Oh, yum, sandwich bread. Nom, 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 nom. We could just so stuff, we could just stuff it full of Hellman's mayonnaise, and then we'd have Food for days. Ooh. Welcome back, my Illuminati friends. Illuminati. Illuminati. Ah! Let's continue with our headphone repair. Yay. I believe we're going to have to solder or something. So I've got the soldering gun here. It's a Weller WESD51. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So first we have to figure out how do we even get this? How do we even access it? So inside the headphones. Oh, look, see, I got the headphone, I got the headphone squishy piece off. You so. headphone murderer! Oh yeah, so look what I found. Here's a screw, and so there's probably four of them. Okay, we got some screwdrivers. Let's see if we can get these screws out. And that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Okay, so we got screws out. So is this worth saving $20? Ah, might be. It's a good lesson. It might be. Look, oh yeah, oh yeah. We got it out. So that's just connecting it to the speaker and you see where, it, look right there. You see this, this cord is just going in there. They've tied a knot here so it can't back out. Then we just need to fit the pink one right through there and then solder it to that board. So let's see that what that board consists of. Uh, so we could uh, just solder it to the wire that's already attached to the board. So are these too small uh, soldering points to think that we can actually do this? Are those too small? Those are pretty small. If it was too small, then I wouldn't do it. I'd just do it directly to the wire. So we got three, so we got three wires coming out of those headphones. These three separate wires, okay? So we got our headphone wire here. Let's go ahead and snip the end off. Do I have three wires there? In fact, I do. 
I think this is gonna work out just fine. So I'll cut them off the same length as I see. Okay, right about there, maybe even just a smidge more. And we can adjust the tension on this so it doesn't accidentally pull any of this stuff off. So now we'll want to strip just the very uh, tips of these. Yeah, so we got those. Okay, and now, we we'll want to add a little bit of this uh, flux, this stay clean flux is if I put a little here, the solder is going to want to just soak right into it. So I'm just going to put a dab on it, which is going to be too much. And I should probably use a cotton tip, but I don't want to. I'm just getting a little bit of wetness on it. I'm not doing any drops. I'm just letting it bathe in there for just a second. So it's on there. So let's let's heat up our soldering machine and let's turn it to... Oh, I don't know. Wait, a billion degrees? Uh, no, not a billion, sir. Uh, let's do 800. 800 sounds just right. So we can see the temperature ticking up there. No, it must be one million trillion quadrillion degrees. <laughs> uh, I got this thing, which uh, via suction uh, should be able to uh, suction down onto the desktop. And then I'll be able to use this to hold down this board because that is the main problem I find with all these electronics and whatnot. So see, that's pretty tight there. Uh, what I find with these electronics is uh, it's all about it's all about grasping the electronics because they're floating wires and floating boards and everything's floating and you have to be precise if it's not steady you're bound to make mistakes so there's a bit of a concavity to where it's going to grasp so I, so I can either do it on that ridge or that ridge I'll try to do it on the main one okay so right there is probably pretty good I'm gonna assume it's flipped that way and we'll go with the uh, pink is the red, the light blue is the darker blue, and then we'll just say that that's the middle one. I'll just assume that. So then I've got this device, and this is one of the most irritating things about uh, electronics and wires and stuff, is all these tools all over the place. So if you find a good method, more power to you. We're gonna crimp and clamp and get that there. We're going to bring out our uh, solder, which for this job, I think any solder would work. A smaller diameter solder is probably going to make a nice, clean, tight, organized glob. So we want to heat up uh, the spot first and then push the solder in. We don't want to glob a bunch of solder on to the tip. Uh, see, and then it just sucked right in there. Okay, so those are pre-soldered and then we can remove these wires. So we got to remember blue, how are we going to do that? And this is poison basically anything that you're going to inhale off of the solder. Blue, white, red. Blue, white, red. And I can take a picture if I needed to. So we're going to just heat up the solder here real quick and it pops off. Okay. So that's disconnected. And then, so now we want to pull this wire out of here and thread in the new one. So we'll clip this, slide that one out. And this is probably some grommet piece. Yeah, this is like a grommet. We'll see if we can use this. We might have to trim it down. I just don't think we're gonna be able to shove that through. Let's see, we'll give it a try. It'd be nice if it stayed intact. Oh, there we go. See, I got it to go through. I just need to deal with this little flat piece, which I think this is flexible enough to tolerate it. And then I can pull on those wires. Don't drill a hole through your finger. Probably a safer way to do this. Yeah, that feels like it's going in now. We'll just tie it. And just FYI, as we were pulling, we pulled the insulation further. And I think it was just a couple millimeters, which probably is tolerable. So we'll find our solder connections down here covered just barely. We'll want to just cut this and start over.
And you don't want to breathe any of that smoke in. That's why it's good to have like a, an exhaust fan. We said uh, blue, white, and red. Blue, white, and red. All right, only thing to do now is to run a test because we are at that point. So we got this wire, let's bring in a phone. Let's go to the Millennium Falcon build. So it's coming from that speaker. And it's coming from that speaker. It works. So we can turn our soldering unit off. There's nothing left to solder. The only thing left to burn is my skin. And just FYI, that was a, uh, a Weller West D51, which goes up to a maximum of 850, uh, down to 350. And it's a solid unit. It's got a power switch, heats up fast. And I like this device too. Well worth the five dollars so i'll put this so look it's on there pretty well and this isn't a perfectly smooth surface but it's on there pretty well i'm gonna go ahead and put this in the description below i'm gonna put this in the description below i guess i'll try to find one of these and put that in the description below that's a tensioner so you can increase the strength of the teeth here depending on your insulation that you need to strip uh, and you can do multiple wires at once as long as you flatten them out um maybe i'll put this in the description below the headphones in the description below all right let's go ahead and reverse all our steps. It's finally fixed, wee wee. I don't know. Let's put the headphones on. Oh, they work. And it's my favorite video. The Millennium Falcon Star Wars Lego build time lap. So we got it all fixed. We know that this is super tight. Uh, that plug is no longer going to be an issue. You guys should check that video out. It's really, really cool.